Brian Brunn has committed suicide. The man who raped and killed seven-year-old Ureles Rivera tonight has killed himself. Breaking news, we're getting word from the Georgia uh, Corrections Department uh, confirming that the 20-year-old committed suicide just days after admitting what he did in court and being sentenced by the judge to life in prison without the possibility of parole. So ultimately, for the Rivera family, they don't have to worry about parole dates. They don't have to worry about anything uh, to the contrary. Obviously, uh, Ryan Brunn has a family as well. Um, but tonight, my thoughts are with the Rivera family. Um, they lost little Urelli, and now the man who did it, you see him right there in court, has committed suicide. I want to bring in uh, Stacy Kaiser and uh, Robbie Ludwig, who are with me tonight, to talk a little bit about this because um, I never under quite understood uh, a, a young man like this, Ryan Brun. I saw his Facebook page. He seemed to be a somewhat normal person from his Facebook page, but I didn't know him. Was a handyman at this apartment complex. Admitted what he did. Um, didn't ask for a trial. Asked to get. He he he, he told the judge. I'm pleading guilty. Give me what I deserved. And, and now tonight he's committed suicide. I can't say that I'm surprised, Robbie. I can't say that I'm shocked by this. Um, this is, you know, I don't understand. I, I don't understand why he did what he did. Um, but I sort of understand why he did what he did tonight, which is kill himself because yeah. he can't live with himself uh, because of, he knows what he did. Yeah. And sometimes when someone is a pedophile and a dangerous pedophile, it's a compulsion. It's not within their control. Now, I'm not suggesting we, see, we feel sorry for this man, but clearly he was sick. And maybe there was a part of his mind and brain that felt really guilty and badly about what he was doing and so out of control that he had a tremendous amount of self-hate and I would say was probably depressed and suicidal as well, probably even before this incident happened. So I think that's what we're seeing here, somebody who committed a horrific crime, but he's also a man who was sick and hated himself uh, after doing what he did, which is kind of interesting to see as well. Stacey 